Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and in this video, we're going to grab the mannequin from UE4, bring it into Blender, rig it with Quick Rig Pro, do an animation, export the animation, and bring it into UE4, so our Blender animation is in UE4. You little ripper, let's go check it out. It's going to be super quick. So we're currently in UE4. I've just created a third-person project. I've gone down to where our character is located. Now, what we're going to export is the SK Mannequin skeletal mesh not the physical asset because that's not going to work we're going to do this skeletal mesh right click asset actions export we can see that it's an fbx so we're on a good start let's click save blah 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 export from here what i'm going to do is open up blender let's select everything and delete with a from here let's go ahead and import our character so go file import FBX, go to the location where we saved our character, double click. Wham bam, thank you ma'am, our character is now in, however you can see his bones look a little bit funny, the skeletal mesh is really weird, so let's clean up the skeletal mesh first, up here in the top right hand corner, I'm going to remove everything except for the level of detail zero, so let's just go delete. Now let's go ahead and re-rig this character with Auto Rig Pro, Quick Pro, Rig, Pro, Rig. Select the rig, let's go into pose mode. I'm gonna press N to bring up the side panel. Now you have to enable it. If you don't have it, there is a link in the description to pick it up. Now it is a price. However, it'll make your life freaking easy. Let's expand Auto Rig Pro. Let's go into quick rig. From here, I'm gonna select his leg, plus, plus sign leg, and then let's select the other leg. There we go, plus sign leg. Now I do have a longer tutorial doing this with character creator three characters. There'll be a link in the description if you wanna see that one as well. From here, let's select our pelvis, plus sign spine, yokely dokely. Let's select our clavicle, there we go, that's an arm. And then this is an arm. And then we've got our neck in here somewhere, there we go. Plus sign head, okay. Quick rig, um, I like to preserve volumes and okay. And there we have it, our character is now rigged correctly and we've got all the wonderful, you know, inverse chromatics, whoop, this one here. And so we can do all this wonderful stuff, brilliant. So let's go ahead, quickly create an animation. I'm gonna select everything I, let's go location, rotation and scale. I'm gonna press the record button down here just so it saves it really quick. With the hip bone selected, I'm just gonna press shift Spacebar to play, and then it's going to record him moving around, getting down a boogie, getting down a boogie. And <laughs> stop that one. I'm going to select the first keyframe, Shift D. Let's bring it down to maybe 110, where he stops boogieing, and then Shift D and 30, so he can have 30 frames. Uh, sorry, 20 frames of taking it easy. So if we just play this animation, oh yeah, boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> Let's just do a really quick tip. Let's go into the animation tab. Let's come up here, change this to the graph. I'm going to select all the bones, select everything on here with A. Let's press spacebar to search and we'll go smooth and we'll select smooth keys at the top, smooth keys at the top. And now if we come down from the dope sheet into the action editor, we can call this one boogie down and then we'll change the graph editor to the nonlinear animation push it down and we've got our animation boogie down. So what you can do now is create multiple animations and we can export it all at once or you can do them individually. For now, we're just gonna do it individually. If we come back here and watch it, you can see that it's a lot smoother as he boogies down. <laughs> From here, let's go into object mode and we'll select both the character and the rig. Last, let's press N to bring up the side panel. Auto Rig Pro again. Auto Rig Pro export. Let's export this FBX. Up here in the top right hand corner, we're gonna go Unreal Engine. It's a humanoid um, with the rig, root animation, add eight IK bones and rename for UE and that one there as well. So we'll do all four of them. Let's just quickly save it and we'll just call this Alamechon. And let's go Auto Rig Pro FBX export. And that should have done the trick. Now let's go back into Unreal Engine. Here we go. Now I've got my file explorer here. I'm just gonna click and drag it into the bottom there. And then let's just go import all. I'm not gonna worry about that error. From here, I'm gonna select everything, but deselect our animation. And then I'm gonna press delete, force delete. And now our character is animated. And because it is using the same skeletal mesh, there we go, hey buddy, how you doing? Boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> What's with this guy's foot? I think I broke this guy. <laughs> I broke him when I was testing him before. <laughs>